There's nothing worse than an unfinished project. You're not going to learn anything from that. You're just going to learn how to give up. Hey Rally Besties, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're well. Today I'm really excited to be getting into some beginner tips. So if you're a beginner viewer or someone who is just starting to write, this video is for you. Today I'm going to be giving you guys seven pieces of advice that I wish I knew when I started to write my books. It's just such an amazing and fun sort of part of your writing career and I'm just so excited that you're here. This video is actually sponsored by Combo Cleaner but more about them in the video. But let's go ahead and get onto the tips to make your writing more fun more safe, more secure, more productive, just better really. But I really hope these tips help and yeah, let's go ahead and get on to the video. Okay, so the first tip is to actually know your process. Know how you're going to set yourself up for success in order to write your book. If you don't get this right, you can end up burning out, you can end up getting confused, you can end up derailing and getting distracted by another project. I really encourage you guys to check out this video where I talk through my four step process for writing my book. This is a personal sort of process that I use which I honestly think is foolproof. I've used this process throughout my whole writing career and through all my projects really. Because a lot of people think writing a book is simply writing a book which is not true because it has a lot of preparation work before you even get to writing that first chapter. So ensuring you, for example, have your brainstorming page, go through your character profiles, come up with character names, world building, then moving on to the plot and the act structure, all those sorts of things is like step-by-step -step process. I have on the screen kind of like the main things that you need to kind of know in order to get to that point before you start writing a book. I really encourage you guys to do this in order for you to actually know your story which will help you in the long run when you have to think on your toes and for example maybe fix a plot twist or name a place that turns up in your book or even just know your characters like especially if you're writing a POV sort of book it's really really important to know who your characters are in order to kind of write in their voice if that makes sense so ensuring you tick off all of these little things which are kind of like really basic things you can take as much time as you want but I really think that helps and just hopefully clears up a few things if you are a beginner writer the next tip I want to give you guys is to actually protect your work. Of course your book is so important to you. It's literally your work. Think of it as an assignment, as your life's work. You know starting to write a book is like the biggest sort of undertaking so ensuring that that document and that your computer is safe is really important. And that brings me to the sponsor of this video, Combo Cleaner. If you guys haven't heard of Combo Cleaner before, Combo Cleaner is an antivirus application for Android, Mac and Windows that protects and cleans your computer or phone from malware. It also helps remove duplicate or bad quality photos, eliminate spam notification ads, protects your internet browsing by blocking malicious websites. Combo Cleaner helps in all these respects. As you guys probably know, the internet is a really dangerous place and there's lots of people on the internet who want to steal your work. So Combo Cleaner can actually protect your manuscripts, but not only your manuscripts, but your photos, your apps, all your data. Not only this, but Combo Cleaner is really helpful because it helps remove unnecessary duplicate files. Because I don't know if you know, but I cannot clean up my desk. Like, you know when you have that sort of storage on your phone or on your computer and it has like other, like what is the other storage that is taking up so much space? Combo Cleaner can help free up some space in order to let your device run more smoothly. You'll be surprised at how many unpublished authors get their work stolen from them before they even get to publish it. There's lots of viruses and malware like out there that can really damage your computer by corrupting files, stealing files and stuff like that and I really want you guys to like be safe especially if you're starting a new project and one that you think you really want to work on for your life like this is really important. All of Combo Cleaner's plans include a fully featured Combo Cleaner Premium app with daily virus definition updates and powerful disk cleaning utilities. So Combo Cleaner of course helps with protecting your devices, your files and your photos, everything like your data, but it also helps clean up your device and keep it running smoothly. As I said, Combo Cleaner is available for Mac, Android and Windows. So I really encourage you guys to of course click the link to check out Combo Cleaner down below. You can get an 80% yes, an 80 freaking percent discount using my code. So definitely go to my description right now and install Combo Cleaner. But yeah, thank you so much Combo Cleaner and let's go ahead and get back to the video. Okay, so the next writing tip which will help you um, improve your writing is to use fonts. 
Use fonts for different parts of your process. So this kind of links from the first tip, but the amazing thing about fonts is you can associate or at least train your brain to associate different fonts with different parts of your process. Especially if you're starting writing, you probably have a whole bunch of ideas. So by staying consistent with your fonts, you can actually kind of work through different projects, but keep the fonts the same. For example, if you're working on two projects or you have two different projects at once, one you can actually be writing the first draft, so maybe you're using um, Times New Roman for that manuscript, but then you're also brainstorming another project, so maybe using Ariel for the brainstorming concept page or something like that. This helps train your brain to kind of make sure that you're in, you know, writing mode, like manuscript writing mode or planning mode. And this seriously helps so, so much. You can also use fonts for different projects, which I also do a lot. So yeah, fonts is really good. I love fonts. It's also really fun too. Like imagine having different fonts for different Anyways, you guys get it. I feel like it's really cool. The next tip is to actually talk about your book idea. This might be a bit like weird or daunting, especially if you're starting writing, but I encourage you to be bold and to actually start voicing your story. Um, this helps so much because it helps you realize one your passion for this story and hopefully your voice and your own realization of that kind of coming back to you and this helps so much like even for example with my own faith um if you guys don't know i'm a christian and sometimes i doubt my faith but that's until i talk to an atheist and we start talking about god and whatever and my voice i i feel my faith and my passion so instantly and so amazingly and like praise god but like that sort of reinforces my brain and tells me like hey i love my god so much this is awesome so by talking about it to your friends your peers even just your mirror um do it it's fun it'll help also let other people know that you're serious and that you are a writer um and this kind of voicing kind of solidifies that you are a writer you are committed to this project. And also I've realized that sometimes I talk to my friends about my book or like my mom and I like just stop for a second because I'm explaining a plot point and then I'm like, oh my gosh, I've just fixed that plot hole. Ah, this is so cool. And it works. Like literally talking about your books um, help solve plot points and plot holes. So do that please for your own sake. The fifth tip is to understand and realize if you're a morning writer or a nighttime writer. I am a nighttime writer. I wish I could write during the day, but I really just, I, I can't, I'm an owl, okay? So I really do write well in the nighttime. And because of that, I'm able to kind of prioritize my day, like working or um, chillaxing, <laughs> doing whatever I have to do. So then nighttime, I can focus on writing. And this helps kind of just like separate my brain. And although it might be difficult or like bad to kind of train your brain to write during one particular time, it's not so much that, it just kind of allows you to switch your brain and kind of train your brain like, hey, this is writing time. Of course, if you're starting a book, you're probably really busy, like as it is, you're probably in school or you have work or you have kids, crazy stuff. You have lots of hobbies, writing, blah, blah, blah. It's gonna be really hard. So I think at least picking a time is really important. I, for example, love to write just as the sun is going down. Like that sort of two hours of writing, I write the best in my whole life. So that's like a really like visual sort of time trigger that isn't so much like, oh, it's 5 p.m. I need to write. It's more so like, oh, the sun's setting. That sort of thing. You can train your brain to maybe write after dinner or before class or um, right after you wake up if you're a cyborg. Train your brain, if that makes sense. And kind of get into a discipline in order to do that. And of course, you don't have to do this every single day. I think it's just a really fun way and a good way and a natural way to get writing on your project and to work on it. I was actually talking to Kelly, Kelly on YouTube, the amazing author tuber, and she was talking to me about how it's really important to kind of turn up for writing and to ensure that you have a time where you can really commit to the craft because I honestly think that people don't like to commit to writing because they're scared and they don't feel like they deserve the time to write. And I think it's really important as a beginner writer also just to kind of say, no, I'm committed to this. No, I will do this. Like I will show up and I will say no to my friends or I will say no to like doing this stuff because this is important to me. So kind of treat it like a job, treat it like a job basically. Um, but don't be too serious, of course. Writing's supposed to be fun, but make sure you make it a priority. 
Day six tip is quite self-explanatory, but it's really overlooked, I feel. When I started to write, I stopped reading because it was really bad for my mental health and I started to really compare my writing to literal published authors who have a whole team around them and everything like that. Um, ensure that your what you're reading really inspires your book and especially reading in your genre or the particular book that you want to write. I feel like when I watch shows or read particular books I just want to drop everything and run to a new project or run to a particular project that's in that vibe. It's so dangerous so make sure that what you're consuming or at least like if you want and it's like something that you really enjoy. I mean I hope you're enjoying it if it's your genre. So if you're in fantasy read fantasy books or consume fantasy sort of art and shows and movies and stuff like that that will really inspire you quite subconsciously I feel like a lot of these tips are kind of very like subconscious natural stuff um, that you can just quickly do to start writing and get motivated to write your book so that's another tip alrighty the last tip is to simply start writing start writing that book bestie literally i feel like a lot of people get so entrenched in brainstorming and although it's really important to do that pre-work Simply getting writing as a beginner writer is so important. I do need to preface and tell you guys the biggest thing you will learn inevitably as a beginner writer is that your first draft is not going to be great. It's probably going to suck and it's the fact that your first idea also will probably not be the book you will publish. Of course I don't want to discourage you or discredit whatever idea you have. I'm sure it will probably be a bestseller you know, if you really work at it. But again, just like you're writing books, you need to make sure you write the book in order to get better ideas through also training and practicing your writing. It's the same thing of like um, getting ideas. Like your book idea might be really good, but like a year later you might be like, oh, that's not really good. Or you can build upon it, for example. So by kind of brainstorming and writing book after book after book, you're not only going to come up with better ideas, but you're going to really improve if you're writing and also narrowing your own personal style and what you want to say in your books. Honestly, if you don't finish a book, you're not going to improve. Commit to this book that you have in mind and make sure you finish it. Make sure you finish it because there's nothing worse than an unfinished project. You're not going to learn anything from that. You're just going to learn how to give up. So I really encourage you guys to try to finish your project and to commit to it. Even if you think it's not the best idea, even if you have all these doubts, just get to the end um, when you can finally type on your little typewriter, the end. Have that in your mind. Manifest it and you'll be fine. Um, just make sure you start writing your book and don't get caught up in all the plot holes, all the stuff. Just start writing when you think it's time. Anywho, that is the video. I hope some of these tips really helped you guys. I really had so much fun talking to my amazing beginner writers. I'm so excited for you. If you want to get more inspired, I have a lot of different tip videos. I have a lot of different vlogs that I really encourage you guys to watch. I'll have it in the iCard or in the description, a little playlist for you to get inspired to write your books, but I really am so excited for your project, whatever it is. I bet it's amazing and you guys are gonna become the best little authors and we'll see all our books lined up against each other on the bookshelf. Again, make sure you guys click the link in the description to check out Combo Cleaner in order to ensure that your documents. I really encourage you guys to go ahead and install Combo Cleaner and use my code for 80% off. But anyways, I love you guys so, so much and thank you Combo Cleaner for sponsoring this video. And yeah, I wish you guys luck and I hope to see you in my next writing video. Bye everyone!